We're at the United Nations Climate Summit here in Madrid, and we're joined by a young climate activist from India, Lissi Priya Kangujam. Lissi Priya, thank you for joining us. Now, you gave your first public speech when you were just six years old. How did you decide to become a climate activist? Uh, so I get scared when I uh, when I see children losing their parents or people are becoming homeless due to danger of disaster. Uh, uh, my country has many disasters like earthquake, flood, landslide, etc. But my heart feels so for people who cannot help themselves when disasters strike. Uh, but I know there are millions of brave people uh, who have came to lend their hands with courage to save those in need. Uh, I get very happy when I see rescuers saving their children and their parents from dangers. Uh, um, <clears throat> And uh, I get it. in 2018, in the month of June, uh, I have get the chance to attend one uh, disaster, uh, UN disaster conference at Mongolia. Um, and Mongolia's government has chosen me to come in, uh, to attend that program. Uh, uh, I have get a lot of inspiration and no new knowledge uh, that things from those people who have told their speech um, in that d disaster conference. Uh, at Parliament House of India, I am demanding to pass the climate change law to our hundred prams of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, uh, and our MPs to pass the climate change law as soon as possible from the people to come action. If they pass the climate change law, then we can control the uh, carbon emission and greenhouse gases. But, you know, uh, Lissy, people might say that you're very young, you know, to join these, these climate talks. You're still a child. What do you say to people when they say that, that you're too young to be part of this? Okay. Uh, nothing matters when I'm big or small. But we have to fight with the climate change and with natural disaster. And we have to tell to the people that this is not the right answer that you are telling you should be shy. If you are small, then you are not doing this kind of things. But now I'm only eight years old. I've just finished eight, seven. Uh, so I'm only eight years old. I'm a girl. I should fight. I should give them you no know, uh, inspiration to the other girls who are uh, 10, 11, 6, and to small, small babies. Then they will never be scared uh, and they will fight like me. And they will be every every time they will be strong and and you have often said that you know you should not underestimate the power of a child what kind of a power do you think you have i'm a girl i'm i'm smart i'm strong i'm intelligent uh, but uh, many girls of the world they are living in these countries uh, they should just see at me and they should look at, at me and see what I'm doing to save our planet and to save our future. Okay. And um, Lissi Priya, you gave uh, a speech this week uh, at the UN summit here in Madrid. What did that feel like? What was that experience like? So I feel very happy and proud on myself that I, I, um, I have told my speech in the 10th December in 2019 in the month of December. So everyone liked my speech and uh, then uh, and then many people were crying because how a young age uh, clam activist has told like this so nicely properly. But I was very, I was, uh, I was proud on myself that uh, people has get some something and new knowledge from me that they have learned many new things from me then they will also join us and we will do a crime climate strike together then we will fight uh, uh, with the climate change and we will tell to the world leaders to pass the climate change law and um, and just one final question you're from india lisi priya uh, what kind of an impact does climate change have on your life uh, in delhi um, you can just see in uh, arctic and himalayas how icebergs are melting twice as fast and we are losing more species of animals than ever before um, uh, and our 
and we are lo and syllable increasing and our earth is becoming very hot and I'm worried about the future of our planet and our fu and our future. So and also you can just see in Delhi how air pollution is so dangerous uh, uh, and it is the worst pollution ever in the history of the world. And even children can move uh, out of the home. And I'm worried about the health of the school children and small small babies. Government announced that there would be holidays for three days and again for five days, but this is not the solution. And government are just busy in blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. Uh, they are just selling the speech. They are not doing any action. I want our leaders to do more action. Otherwise, our future will die soon. They must act now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lissy Pia. We have an emergency. What I want is to talk about today or tomorrow of what needs to be done now. When I was born, our leaders all the met 16 times in the court, and the world all the knew about the bad effects of climate change. <clears throat> you policymakers from around the world just get here in this every year in these cops and do nothing country for our future. Why should I come here? Why should I speak here? I have to go back to my school, I have to read my books, I have to play, I have to study. But our leaders from all our childhood life and our beautiful future. This is not fair. Our leaders are just busy blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. They are just telling the speech. They are not doing any action. I want our leaders to do more action. Otherwise, our future will be dying soon. They must act now. I'm only a child yet. I know all the money spent on war is spent on finding environmental answers. Any poverty and giving education, then what a wonderful place this earth would be. Millions of people are planting millions of trees to save our planet and to save our future. But some some people are destroying our beautiful planet and our beautiful future. And also the hubs, the trains of millions of children in the wars. They are losing their parents and people are coming homeless due to wars. And coming all the way, thousands of kilometers by rising funds to tell the elders that you must change your way of thinking. Come here today, I will know my head at him down and fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I'm here to speak for my generation and all the generations to come. I'm here to speak for the behalf of the starving children around the world who cry and go unheard. I'm here to speak for the countless animals dying on this planet because they have nowhere to go. I'm afraid to go to the sun now because there is a hole in our ozone. And I'm afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are on it. Do not forget why you are attending this program, who you are doing this for. We are your own children. What society, what kind of world we are growing up in. Parents should be able to come up for the children by saying everything is going to be alright. It's not the end of the world that we are doing the best we can. But you can't say that we are saving a planet. Are we even in your list of priorities? My dad always says are what you do but not what you say. Well, what you do makes me cry at night. Uh, you say love us, but I challenge you. Please make your action reflect your words. From the bottom of my heart, together with the children and youth of the world, I urge you to join your hands, your minds, and your patience to create a better world for all of us. Thank you. And we're going to stay on the topic of climate because in the past year, a 16-year-old Swede has become the most recognizable face in the fight against global warming. But Greta Thunberg's uh, not the only youngster calling for urgent action at the UN's climate summit in Madrid. Well, earlier today, an 8-year-old from India addressed global leaders at the event and she had a heartfelt message after overcoming one of the obstacles that comes with being a child in an adult's world. 
Yeah. Let's start. Here we go. <laughs> and fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I'm here to speak for my generation and all the generations to come. I'm here to speak for the behalf of the starving children around the world who cries and go unheard. All right, a very impressive uh, young girl here to give us some background on this young fire. Rand is DW reporter Amyan Asif. Very impressive young girl there. All right, how did she end up on that stage? Well, surprisingly, she's been involved in climate activism for over a year and a half already. Uh, so this wasn't her first time giving a speech. In fact, she gave her first speech when she was six years old to a climate conference in Mongolia. Um, and after she, she got involved in this scene uh, through her father, who was also uh, involved in activism, she started uh, attending the, the, the school protests in Delhi that were called for internationally by Greta Thunberg. So there was that inspiration there. And uh, the media picked up her story in Delhi and she kind of uh, rose to prominence through that. Um, but of course, behind every world traveler who's eight years old, there's an adult usually, and that's her father, I so. like I said, who's, um, he's the chairman of an International Youth Committee uh, for Young Activists, so he definitely uh, helped get her where she is. Yeah, and I understand you talked to him as well. Mm -hmm. She has been very creative in her protests. Uh, explain. That's right. One of the things that kind of went a little bit viral on social media was this contraption that she made. Um, she calls it the Su Kifu. I have to look it up because it's, it's her little word that she called it. It's, it stands for Survival Kit for the Future. Um, and it's basically, you can see it here, it's a gas mask, oxygen, oxygen mask connected to a plant. And she made this all from trash. Um, she calls it an invention. I maybe would refer to it as an artwork. But whatever it is, it's definitely poignant to see a young girl in Delhi, which is one of the most polluted cities in the world, struggling to get oxygen. Right, exactly. Very, very poignant indeed. Now, children and teenagers have really come at the forefront of this climate change uh, movement. What's behind that? Greta Thunberg has a lot to do with this because when she put out a call for young people to skip school and protest for climate change, that resonated around the world. And you saw this also, especially in India. There was a lot of kids in India who went out to protest for climate change. And this is kind of how, um, how Kangu Jam got involved in it too. Um, but of course, the UN and other big organizations have picked this up and they're now encouraging young people to get involved. They're uh, facilitating their involvement. And some adults like this, some adults don't. Of course, there's a criticism that uh, uh, they're being used as props by adult activists to bring some pathos to the situation. But I actually spoke to Kang Jam's father, and he's an activist himself, but he told me that he never said that she had to do this, that she picked it up um, on her own, that she's driven by a real passion to save the world, as she calls it, and he hasn't been able to stop her, is the way he kind of put it. So he believes that this, is, this passion comes from within her, and all a kid has to do is to see the news reports, um, what scientists are saying about how the world may be in 50, 100 years, and you can see why this would inspire young kids to get involved. And she's living it, obviously, if she's in India, That's where true. it's a huge problem. All right, DW Report, I mean, Nassif, thank you very much. Thank you, Leah.